How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to Fishing and Barrent Sea. We finished our uh, mission in the previous video, which was to deliver some crab here. Now, I've done a lot off recording. I explored this entire open water area. There's a lots of king crab in the area. We're pretty much parked right here at the moment. I explored some of this as well. And there's also... I haven't been down here. There's also some here. Not a lot. Definitely not a lot for this big of a vessel to come down here and set some pots. But uh, I've been down here, which has a very good yield over here as well. And a little bit down there. I was slowly making my way across here and going across to discover this new, the last location actually. And um, I only had 10,000 liters of fuel left on my uh, ship, vessel, boat. So I came here, refueled. So now the plan is I bought three more pots. And I'm going to try to take my time. We're going to set. Originally, my plan was here because I kind of feel like it was here. I think it was here, but I think the um, the population kind of changes over time. Not sure. So the plan right now is we're going to set 10 pots down here. We're going to slowly keep going at the same speed, maybe a little bit faster to cross this area. We're going to set 10 more pots down here. And then we're going to loop back around and we're going to come set 10 more pots over here. That will give me 30 pots. These ones and these ones are kind of, sort of going to be close to each other. These ones are going to be spaced apart more than enough time for me to travel there. I'm, even when I get here, I may park a little bit, kill a little bit of time, just so I have a little bit of... Um, free roam I guess just in case something happens with in between here and there because if I just do 10 pots 10 pots and then I go straight there and then 10 pots again if something happens in between the time that like if I'm too slow to pick them up then these are gonna start going bad and we don't want that so let's just get into it uh, we don't want to be going too fast. We want to put our crew, which they haven't been working in the longest time. We're going to turn our work lights on. We're going to make sure that we got some fuel throttle. Thinking that should be good for now. Let's get out of here. Uh, sh no, actually... Sort crabs, it's bait and pot. Um, you can go back to rest. I want you over here. Ah, see, I don't like that. It brings me back over here. We are moving. So let's grab the first one. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Nope, let's go this way. Let's grab this one. Okay, boom it in. Let's go that way. Boom it in, drop it there. Has been a little bit of time since I played. Got this. Actually, kind of maybe should have waited. Let's see how fast we're going. What kind of speed we have here. Because I don't think we're going fast enough. Okay, we're definitely not going fast enough. I can't exit this while I got a pot. So let's drop the pot right there. And uh, exit this and drive the boat. Yeah, we want more speed. Little bit more speed. Little bit more speed. Okay, let's operate the crane. Let's pick this up. I did a lot of free roam because there was a, uh, well, more or less a major storm coming. But I guess it just went by. 
Still not going very fast. We're going in a straight line, which is good. I can see the buoy right there. So we're slowly picking up some speed. That's all right. Want them pretty much a little bit more spaced out than the last time. But you have to account for the time for him to bait it and drop it as well. Let's see what we got. I should be pretty good actually. I gotta keep an eye, make sure we're not drifting too much, which it seems like we are a little bit. It's hard to tell when you're at night. Uh, let's just keep going. This one here, grab this pot. We still got the hang of it. Hopefully this will, that's gonna be 30 pots. Obviously it's not going to fill our vessel but it should be pretty damn close. Well, not close, but it's gonna be a lot better than what we used to have, which was, well, at the best, I think we got 4,600 kgs. That's not a lot of crab for such a big boat. We haven't repaid our loan yet either. Let's uh, screenshot this just for fun. Drop this. Nope. We want... Nope, this one. Would be nice to be able to rotate the pots, but I think we got this stacking thing down. The three that I bought are stacked back there, which gives us a uh, count of 30. That's all right, we're not... The, the, the waters are pretty calm. We're not going that off. I'm hoping this is going to be a good one. Yeah, because we got a ways to go. We only want to drop 10, so technically I'll, I'll uh, separate them a little bit more. Because we're already at 3 and we're not really in the center core of the population which is where you want to be. Well, then again, sometimes I've had better results in not the center, just the surroundings. So it's hard to tell. Ah, uh, let's go a little bit more. Just to the point, I guess, where I can't see the buoy anymore. That should be good right here okay let's drop this one down pass it all around nope this way uh-huh and then grab this one here grab that boom it in that is that's the name of the game right here four I think that's a good uh, distance between them it's actually good speed we're going at as well. I can't see the speed right now because I got a pot on the crane, which is a good safety uh, procedure, I guess. You're holding a cage up in the air. You shouldn't be able to walk away from the crane, even though it's dangling on a diagonal position mid-air. We don't want to pass this mark. I don't think we will either. If we do a little bit, it's not that big of a deal. I prefer not to. It seems to be a beautiful day coming too. Okay, let's drop this one. Grab this one. The problem is now we're gonna have to uh, stack 30 pots next time. 
not just uh, a wee L bit. Well, still we still stacked a lot of pots, but these pots we never used. I think we used that one there. So that might be a little bit tricky, just a little bit. Oh yeah, that's that's gonna be perfect. That is gonna be perfect, perfect, perfect. I love it. This is where we make the million dollars. This is it, everybody. We want at least one million cash money in our pocket after we paid both our guys. That's the uh, that's the goal, and I think we should be able to because last time we had we had a mission to do, which was 562 kgs of crab. Even with that being said, we clean we cleared um 960,000 actually let's grab this one so we did pretty good there, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to clear a million yeah we're a little bit off but it's not a big deal not a big deal this is number seven so there's three more to go after this and then we're going to slowly, well, slowly, we're going to, yeah, slowly, a little bit faster than what we're doing now because I don't want 6 and, or 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't want 10 and 11 to be too close apart in timing from each other. I want a little bit of time to be able to travel the distance. Same with these ones. I think we're going to start collecting them when they're about 20 hours. They're probably still going to be in the green. But um, by the time we get to all the other ones, they're going to be in the blue. All right, I guess I can't grab the other one just yet. So that over here. Just check the map. Yeah, we're laughing. I like that. All I got all. Yeah, so during all the traveling, I've just been uh, watching some YouTube and just cruising around with the boat. It took me a couple hours. I uh, I started the game in the morning, anticipating that I'm going to record right away. And like I said, as soon as I uh, jumped in the game, I wanted to avoid doing any kind of fishing with this vessel in rough seas. And uh, it looked like it was gonna be very stormy out why can I not grab this one fine let's grab that one so I just went around and I uh, cruised I explored hoping that the weather would pass and the storm never happened okay two more so I said screw it it, it kind of looks like there's a little bit of a storm it's a nice day but there were still calling for uh, high winds but again, when I did exploring, I was mostly in the open waters, which you don't really feel much. One. Two, I do have the side thrusters now. But I don't know if they would help in like a super big storm. Kind of want to say they wouldn't. Still have to be able to control the vessel. Uh, let's drop number nine right here. Can I grab this one now? Sure can't. I'm hoping that those two are not glitched out because that would suck. I need them. That's why I bought three more so I would have 30 on the boat. Oh, yeah. That is going to end up perfect. Really, really, really good. Million dollars or kroners. I don't know what the conversion rate is. I don't even know what a kroner is. Uh, in Barents Sea somewhere in the uh, Pacific Ocean in that general area I would assume but uh, what country I don't know you guys would know comment down in the comment section let me know and uh, yeah that's that's where that is it's beautiful though we got our uh, little rescue boat there luckily we haven't had the, uh, the use for it okay so that's 10 here. Let him drop that. I'll exit this. OK, 
can't walk away from this just yet. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's switch to view. Stop driving. Okay. Uh, no, I'm actually going to stay here. Drive the boat. Change the view. Change the staff. You go get some rest. Okay. So with this being said, why are we in reverse? No, 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 no. No reversing for you. Okay, let's put the map. I want to put a marker, say right about there. No, I don't want to fast travel to it. I just want the marker and we're going to go at a slow, steady pace. We don't want to go too fast because like I said, I want them to be, to have a good separation between the two of them while also trying to maintain well, we don't have to be in a straight line for this one because it's going to be a different set of pots. That's just going to be a little bit of traveling. Well, this one won't be that bad. The other one will be a little bit worse because it's we're traveling from about here till all the way about here. So I will be right back with you guys as soon as we get to location number two. All right, guys, here we are at destination number two. We're going to put, he's good for pot baiting and setting, pot and set, bait and set pot. So we're going to put him on there. We are down here getting ready to set another 10 pots, which will be about three hours apart from that one. I coasted at 4.7 knots the entire time. And that's the speed that we're going to go at to um, to do the uh, to drop the pots as well. Can I grab these ones now? I really hope they're not bugged, man. I really hope they're not bugged. That means I'm going to be short. That was a bug. Well, a little bit of a glitch. Come on, come on, let me grab it. Come on. What's your problem, man? No, I don't think I can grab those ones anymore. Are you serious? Or these ones? Uh-oh. You might be short on pots. I don't have time for this, so let's just grab this one here. Well, that's four pots right there, so... Damn it. Actually, no, let's try... Nope. Won't let me interact at all with them. So we might not have the 30 pots that we wanted. That's That sucks. I'm not going to lie, that sucks. I don't know why those ones are glitched out. I may understand that one because it may be on the pipe. But it let me drop them there. I should be able to pick them up. That's a little bit close to each other. I'm gonna have to figure that out. The only way that I can see would be going to a harbor and um, selling the pots that I have, but then how I would have to sell all of them or I would have to put all the pots that I can in the water, then go to a harbor, then sell what I have, buy four more, and then I just don't think I have that kind of time. A little bit of fog rolling in. It's kind of a little bit hard to see the buoy. Yeah, 11 and 12 were a little bit too close to each other. We'll try to avoid that. 
We got a lot of room. Actually, this one ended up pretty good. But we're doing a good speed, so 4.7 knots. That's that's a good speed to um, to be dropping pots. Probably not so much to be picking up the pots. But I guess we'll find out. We could always try it. Damn it, that bugs the hell out of me. Like, I can go all the way in the back and pick this pot up. But I can't grab these pots. I can put some pots on top of them. But it just won't let me grab them anymore. Maybe once the deck is fully empty, maybe I got to capsize the boat. I have no idea. I can't nudge them with the crane either. I think they're uh, they're glitched out. I hope not. Let's uh, keep going with this stack here on the right hand side, or on the port side, if I'm not mistaken. And once we get to the other spot, which is right about over there lined up with that rock face there maybe even in between those two yeah not the little one but the big one right in between those two so I'm assuming that no that's the little one the big one's back there let's keep an eye on our pot too I really like the uh, oh I can see it there too uh, it's not very accurate. I can't zoom into that. There's no controls. Unless there's some driving controls, but I really like the the Hermes and the Lunar Bow because when you're open, gone to open water, you can actually sit in the back seat controls and you see everything. You have full access to your computer systems and like the radar systems, the sonar systems. You have access to everything. I really like that setup. As opposed to this one, you... And the other one is fully um, customizable as well. This one here, you can't... Like, I'd love to be able to zoom this in. Because that really doesn't tell me much. But when I look at the map, I can kind of tell how close apart they are like that's way too close they're what uh, 14 minutes apart as opposed to this one uh, almost 30 minutes apart but this is what we have and I can spin 360 degrees because I'm not holding on to nothing emergency stop we can't touch anything The view is beautiful. I don't know what we're doing with those. Obviously, this one here, we do have an internal storage, which should be over there, which, of course, is below our feet. And then, uh, yeah, I haven't really explored much on this vessel. I keep switching names. Yeah, that's good right here. Between boat and vessel. Okay, can I grab him? Can I grab him? Come on, come on, come on. Nope, won't let me grab him. Stack it up. Um, yeah, we're doing real good. I really like the distance between these two. Well, these, well, those are not that bad either. Five and six is the ideal, or even three and four. That's maybe a bit far from each other. I think five and six would be ideal distance, like 13 and 14, and 12 and 13 as well. That's, that's a pretty good distance, I'm thinking. If you guys got better techniques, better ways of doing it, let me know in the comment section maybe there are a lot of better techniques maybe you guys know how to stack these things how to turn them how to stack them i don't know they just fall in place and as we can see they glitch in place and then you can't use them anymore so now that's the thing worst comes to worst as far as we're concerned we have four that are glitched out that'll give us 26 pots in the water it's not the 30 that I wanted, but it's not that bad. I don't want them too close, but I don't want to go too far either. I got five more to put. Uh, 
hard to judge it from here. Let's see right about there. We'll drop one here. Can't grab it. Can't grab it. Can grab that one. Two, four, and six. Got four more to go. A little bit time consuming, guys. A little bit time consuming. But this is where we're getting the million bucks, the million kroners, right? This is where we're going to get it. We want some high numbers. We want some good yield. We don't want none of those damn females again. They just don't, Those females just love us. They want all of us. And the season, actually, I think the season is getting pretty close to being over. That means we're going to have to, we're probably going to have to go back to our, our smaller boat, which is a selfie, and uh, probably do some net fishing. I hope, well, I hope we don't have to. I think we will have to. Because crab season will be over. Okay, what are we at now? One, two, three. I'll bring us about here. And we haven't fished in this area yet. This is our first time. The last time that we uh, did crabbing. I kind of want to say it was here. We dropped a whole bunch of pots here and it was really good. What are you at? Eight hours? I got to be able to make it over here, set some pots, and then make it back. I might be uh, judging. I might be judging it. Once I get over there, I'll see how close the pot is. I'll go from there. I'll see if I have enough time. I might not even not even have enough time to do it. I'm hoping I do. Technically, it's only six pots, or maybe ten if those four ones here can glitch out. I'm gonna wall of fog. Worst comes to worst, we'll leave them at. 21 hours. I don't want to pick him up more than 21 hours. Even though we're getting the system down, I don't want. Oh, 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 I want to drop it. I don't want to risk losing too many out of them. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Nope. What if I set one down on this? Just to glitch it out. This is the last one here, right? Uh, no, it's not actually. Two, four, six, eight. It's 18. That's 19 on the crane now. That'll leave me one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's right. Plus those four here, which we're still hoping to be able to uh, get out. Then we have to restack all of these on the ship somehow. But we can go like four, maybe even five high. They don't have to be perfect, because obviously they're not going to be perfect like that. These are the two that we stacked the best. And look at them. Glitched out. Those two are pretty stacked well as well, but look at them. Glitched out. See, I still can't grab it. Come on. Come on. I know you want it. Definitely can't grab that one. Hmm.
So that's going to be an issue for sure. We're probably going to have to sell those four pots. Which sucks. Okay, this is the last one here. That leaves me with six pots. That I may have to do it off recording. I'll do another round at one point. I'll set every pot that I have in the water. Even if I don't collect anything, I'll just set them all in a row. Go back to a harbor. Sell the pots that I have, which are glitched out. And then start over again. Go pick up my pots and do a run. Okay, so this is going to be it for this. Let's just move the crane over. Uh... Let's move it over, 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 over. Sure, just like that. Okay. Let's get out of this. Uh, I don't want to drive, do I? Sure, I'll, I'll drive from here. I'm good. Okay. So on the map, that worked out splendid. Very, very splendid. We're at nine hours. I got to travel there. That's, that's the problem. Took me nine hours to do that, but that's at low speeds. Okay, so I'm just gonna bunker up. We're gonna send him back to rest. He's got good stamina. We're gonna punch it as fast as we can. We don't need these ones. And um, we're gonna head towards the other spot. And I will see you guys when we get there and we will decide if we have time to set the pots out or we don't. So I'll see you guys in just a bit.